So the Parlor app, what the heck is it? Why are people talking about it? Who's using it? All these questions and lots more in this video. Let's get into it. First off, welcome to a new series on the channel where we talk about news, but not any news like you've been seeing on TV. We simply don't need that here at all. This series is all about mobile app news. There'll still be videos on app reviews and how to's. That's not changing anytime soon. So if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss anything. So now that we got that out of the way, the Parlor app is today's app topic. What the heck is it? Well, it's a social media app, sort of like Twitter and Facebook, that has been out for a while now. Parler pitches itself as a non-biased, free speech app that focuses on user rights and transparency. And with all the hoopla, yes, I said the word hoopla, don't judge me, because I'm a dad, and that's kind of like a dad joke. So all the hoopla going on in the U.S. elections, many conservatives are jumping off the Twitter and Facebook ships and heading into the Parler which currently ranks number one in the Apple Store and Google Play Store, at least for now, or the last time I checked, that is. So just to catch you up to speed, Facebook and Twitter have been known to block tweets and posts along with groups created by regular individuals to more well-known political figures and such. Basically, conservatives believe the social media giants are fact-checking only certain things that they want you to believe, not for yourself, but for what they think is true or not. Therefore, it gives the reason to jump to the Parlor app. And my honest opinion on this is if you're wondering, I don't care either way. I just like to make videos on here about apps for your phone and figured this was one being talked about a lot right now. So why not discuss it on here in this new series that I think should be fun to do. I just wanted to see what the Parlor app was all about and it is indeed a lot like Twitter and Facebook. And when first looking at it, and there is a fair share of conservatives using the app, which is fair in Parler's case, I'm sure they are happy to have whomever join the app because they're a business. And when you're a business, you want more people flooding into your said business. So why not? So after I checked out the Parler app, I probably won't use it or anything like that. But I wanted you to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the Parlor app. Do you use it? Are you planning on checking it out? Or are you just kind of staying away because you don't want to be a part of all the hoopla? <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this first video of this series. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay safe and healthy. And I will see you in the next one.